this video will show you all the necessary steps to making your own Minecraft server, such as porting your IP address, making your IP address static, and what server to choose. Enjoy. Alright guys, the first step of porting your IP is giving yourself a static IP address. You don't really have to know what that means, but you just have to know how to do it. So go here and start and search CMD for command prompt. Now open this. Now this screen scares a lot of people, so just do what I say, okay? Type IP config, C-O-N-F-I-G, space, backslash all. Press enter. And then find... There is a big list. Just find these four things find IPv4 address. Now write all these down in notepad. This right here. I'm not going to write it down because you know I already did it. Type or uh, write down your IPv4 address, your subnet mask, your default gateway, and both DNS servers. Once you do that, you can go to control panel. Now, over here just click view network settings and tasks now I know there's a different way to get to this from different computers but my computer all I have to do is do that basically what you're trying to do is get this screen if you need to pause and see what this screen looks like that's fine anyway go to change adapter settings right here now there's um, local area connection and wireless router local area connection is if you're hardwired and wireless router obviously if you have a wireless router um, however um, I don't have a, um, I'm not hardwired, so I have a wireless router, so whichever one you have, go to properties. Right click properties. Now this comes up with a big list of stuff, you only have to worry about one of them. Internet protocol version 4 or IPv4, click this and then press properties. When you do that, it should already be in here, but if it's not, then um, just add it because you already wrote it down in a notepad. So if this is checked, uncheck it and put this one checked. Then use the following, and then you can leave that unchecked. You don't need to press advance, and then I'll see you in the next step, guys. You're ready to port your IP. Alright, guys, the next step of our porting our IP is to um, download simple port forwarding and open it. This program right here. Yes. Here it is. Alright, there's a big, big checklist over here. You don't really need to worry about it. What you need to do, though, is look on the back of your wireless router. You need a router for this step, guys. Find the name of your router. Mine is Linksys WRT. 54 gs Now, that's already checked because you know I did this. Router IP. If you just press this button, it'll do it for you. So you don't have to do any of that crap. Password. I'm going to put a link in the description. Shut up, phone. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. Anyway, I'm going to put a link in the description, and there is going to be router passwords. My password for this router, the default password is admin. Um, basically, it's just a big, big list of possible passwords. If you set your own, it could be that. I'm not going to provide help for this step, guys. I just, I really can't. I'm going to be honest. So, look at that list. Find your router password. Just press Control F to find it. And then there you go. Okay, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just ran up and down stairs ten times. Alright. Press this button right down here little save thing press plus and then add custom and now basically name it anything I'm gonna call it tits because I like tits now TCP slash UCP UDP sorry TCP slash UCP U blah! TCP slash UDP is the one you want this one right here start port 25565 do not forget that 25565 and now leave this. Now press add. Alright, it just told me. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so basically, I already had a port, so it didn't let me show another port, but basically, this is the exact same thing. I made it mine for Minecraft. Because, you know, you can't have two ports for the same thing. 
Now go to Update Router, this button right here. Now this is the part where I'm really not going to help you guys. If you couldn't follow up to the steps, there was something wrong, I don't know. But I'm going to press Update Router. There we go. For my thing, the default username is nothing and the password is admin. So that worked. Now, basically, it's just going to do itself. And, um, there you go. You don't have to worry about any of this stuff. It's literally going to do it for you. Okay, so, close that. Now, when you're done, that's that's it. You, um, you just opened your ports, you ported your IP. So, congratulations. One word of advice, though. Do not download the server you see on the multiplayer screen. You'll regret this when everyone's server is cooler than yours. You do, however, want to go to this website and download something called Mixsharp, which is a better version of that because basically there's so many commands and so many different things you can do, it's just too much better than that, believe me. I'll go into the Mixsharp commands in a later video.